Hey guys, welcome to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video guys. In this video, we are going to create our own data set in Hugging Face. So yes guys, up till this time we have been training models, we have been fine tuning them, we have been using the models and we have been creating a lot of spaces in Hugging Face. But there is one thing that we haven't explored yet and that is the data set space. So yes guys, without taking any time further, let's get started. So first of all guys, if you want to access any data set in Hugging Face, how can you do that? So you can see that I am in the Hugging Face uh, website here and all you have to do is click on data set. You will land up in this page guys and if you want to use a data set for fine tuning or for just you know question answering or just for training and some validation or something like that you can actually use all these data sets that are available to you all you have to do is select upon the tasks that you want to achieve for example text classification and you can see there are multiple data sets that are there which can be used for text classification once you click on a data set guys you will be able to view the data set as well so you can see that this open orca data set seems to look like that that we have got a system prompt we have got a question and that is the response of that question okay so let's say you are a uh, chat gpt sort of model that you want to train then you will need to give us one the system prompt and the question on the basis of that prompt and finally the response so you can use these type of data sets to actually train your uh, conversational models or something like that right or your text classification model or your uh, table question answering model so there it is guys that if you want to explore a data set all you have to do is click on the data set look at what data it is actually using and what kind of responses it is going to produce and then you can use that for fine tuning your model but this is about how you can explore the data sets that are already in Hugging Face. We want to talk about how you can create your own data set and upload it on Hugging Face. Let's see how we can do that. So first of all guys, I have downloaded myself a CSV file that I have taken from Kaggle. And basically if you go to Kaggle, that's called as the Titanic data set. So I already have the CSV file on my machine. And if I want to use that as a data set, all I have to do is first click on my profile here and then click on new data set. Okay. Now let's name this data set super lazy coder Titanic. Okay. Let's keep the license as empty for now and just click on create data set. You can obviously make it private or you can make it public. I'm going to make this public. So now I have the data set created for me. All you have to now do is upload the files that you want to upload. So I'll click on files and versions and then I will click on add file. So now here you can create a new file where you can type the file uh, on the page. But I'm going to use an easier option of upload files. So I click on upload files and it is going to give me an option here where I can drag the files from my folder. So I will click on drag files and I will click on downloads. And you can see that I have my Titanic dataset CSV already here. So I'm just going to place that CSV and then I'm going to simply commit the changes to me. Obviously, you can write uh, you know, any message you want, but I'm going to simply use the default message. And now you can see my CSV file has now been uploaded. The next thing is that you start looking at the data set card. So the first thing is that you have to click on create data set card. Okay, now in this create data set card, you want to provide certain information about your data set, right? For example, in case of hugging face, you could classify the data sets on the basis of the task that they were performing, right? So let's say th uh, this data set is about, uh, you know, text classification or this would also help in uh, table question answering, right? So these are the two tasks. So somebody in data set space if they select these two task categories your model sorry your data set is going to come out in the uh, filtered result next comes the license uh, so you can just keep the license as other 
language is very important so if your uh, data set is in english language you can write here english but if your data set is in a different language you must mention it here because it becomes easier for the users to filter okay uh, the number of elements i'm not going to add that if you want to add certain tags to you can definitely add tags for example you have got many tags available here like art music finance etc let me just select art because titanic was a movie and i can take it as a art movie uh, i can take it as a part of an art right uh, pretty name if you want to you know give your data set a pretty name or if you want to just call it super lazy coder slc titanic that is good too i'm going to keep it pretty simple and now i'm going to commit this data set card to my main file okay so once the commit is completed you will be actually able to okay is the commit completed yeah so now you can see that there are all these data set card things which are visible on your model that your model performs text classification and table question answering it is an english language the tag is art and the license is other right so that becomes your data set card now if you click on data set card here guys you can see that now your data set viewer is also here so what this data set viewer does it basically shows you in a very concise manner what all columns your data set has and what all values they have okay so basically on your data set card once you upload your data set card you will be able to see this data set viewer as well but if you want to see uh, you know a more elaborate version then you can just click on viewer and this will give you you know all the 891 rows that you want to see okay and you can also search this data set as well right let's go back and click to the data set card and now we have accomplished a thing we have created our own data set but the thing is that what we want to do is use this data set to actually in our uh, you know actually find you know do something right how can i use this data set and for that you have got a very simple thing which is use in data set library so if you just click on this you will see the code that you can use to load this data set okay there is another thing called as api that you can also use so if you want to download this data set on your machine you can use this curl command to download it on your machine however uh, if you just want to use it into a code uh, or in a library you can just use this load data set library okay so now we are going to go into the next part of this video where we will actually use this data set and see how it works okay so let me just copy paste these two command and let's go to my google collab now so guys if you guys don't remember this google collab file this is actually the same file which i used for table question answering video if you have not checked out that video then please go check it out but this notebook is just doing a simple thing where we are using a table question answering model and specifically the microsoft tipex model all the google tapas model and then basically we are providing that model a tabular data like year and city so year column and city column and on the basis of that tabular data we were asking the model certain query like which year the city is uh, where the city is london right something like that and then we provide that tabular data or that table in our pipeline we provide the query and this uh, pipeline which was created on our table question answering model gives us the result correct now we are going to use the same thing but instead of using a data set in which we created our own row and column we are actually going to use our data set which we just uploaded okay so let's say to uh, to do that first of all we have to install the data sets uh, module here so for that we use pip install data sets and then you can see these two lines so from data sets load data set and then load data set we enter super lozy coder slc titanic okay let me copy paste this again so i just show you guys let's keep this code here so yeah so with these two lines you are able to load your data set and now the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to convert this data set into a 
pandas data frame so for that i'm importing pandas and to convert this into a pandas data frame i'm going to use pd dot data frame and then data set train as type string okay now let's break down this line so first of all guys if i just remove this part so let's remove this part and let's run only this part right so where we load the data set super lazy coda slc titanic into our data set variable now if you try to print this variable guys let's try to print this variable if you try to print this variable you see that this is actually a data set dictionary where we have got one type of data set corresponding to the key train so this is definitely a dictionary right so if i want to only access the train data set is in in it i will just pass the train key and now you can see i have access to the entire train data set okay so what i am doing here in this line is just i am just taking my train data set converting it into a pandas data frame and then uh, that data frame i am converting that into a string okay and why am i converting that into a string because my google tapas model that i am going to use for table question answering basically uses this string format uh, of data only to answer questions okay so now my df pandas if i just do this df pandas is basically a data set only but it is converted into a string uh, type okay but now i have the data set in front of me so now it's the time to pass that table okay so this is the df pandas the table okay so that becomes my table and my query is how many people died died on titanic and now let's run this let's see if this works or if this fails uh, and let's try to debug it together okay so obviously it is doing something definitely is doing something i am also trying this for the first time guys so i am also not sure if this actually will work or if this will fail but we'll see it together however guys even if this fails the thing about this is that you can see how easy it is to actually load your data set and uh, to actually upload your data set and use it in any way you want to right so we have gotten an error here where it is obviously saying index out of range it is because guys the the tokens that we have in this data set so obviously this data set is a huge data set and the data set which we were using in our table question answering video which was this one was a very small data set right so obviously it is possible that the data set does not have as many uh, you know uh, values that it should so let's only consider two rows uh, for now and let's see if this works okay let's only consider two rows and let's only send two rows into our into our string okay and let's see if this time it works okay there you go guys you can see that with the smaller data set we don't get the index error obviously this is one of the model constraints but you can see that now it uses our data set which we uploaded ourselves and loaded it with the load data set functionality and it is actually uh, you know giving us the answer so how many people died on titanic it is definitely giving us some answer of the seat number and some value which it has gotten somehow from this so it is definitely giving us uh, you know the ticket number uh, of the people who actually died on titanic which is great guys which is great because uh, it basically sees that your model is able to access the data set it doesn't matter if it is not answering very correctly or not the thing is you were able to upload a data set and then load it and use it with a model and that was basically the purpose which we i want to uh, go for okay so there you go guys that was the video that was the video 
that enables you to actually upload your own data sets in Hugging Face and use it wherever you want to with the help of the data sets API. So I hope this video was very helpful to you guys. If you do uh, like this video, if you did like this video, then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feedback for me, please do write down in the comment section below. I would be really happy to address them. And in the end guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please, please, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.